This is Stephanie, an average Australian girl, who moved to America when she was just 14 years old. She always wondered how was she going to mix up with all these new generation hunks and girls, especially in a new country. She was at her first birthday party with her new friends, who made her feel exactly as she imagined, until she sees the group called Popular, yes, as the name suggests they were the most hottest and popular group of students in the school. She also had crush on this tall and handsome guy called Blaine. Steph tried to invite both Blaine and Tiffany, but she insults her instead by calling their party a freak show. She wanted this life to change so bad. Steph was willing to be something extraordinary, so she decided to become the most popular girl of the school. Not too long after, her dreams came true, in her freshman year she became the captain of the cheer squad. The list of her friends was over the roof, she finally had the hottest guy as her boyfriend in school. One morning, her father gives her a gift before she could leave for school. It was a beautiful dress gifted by her mother, who passed away recently. Steph and her friend stops by a house, where she explains about a woman called Deanna Russo, who she admired a lot, perhaps her dream life with a hot husband and the most beautiful house in the city. Both reach the school, where Seth was about to ask Steph on prom, but she interrupt him saying yes, which makes his hopes up. But she actually said yes, to the after party, to which Seth leaves the car devastated. She walks inside his school with the swag that she was carrying around her aura. Inside, she was met by her boyfriend, who act weird as if she was one of his buddies, but Steph loves this regardless. Even though her friend Martha thinks the opposite. Meanwhile, Steph was hyped up about the VIP section in their upcoming party, but gets to know her boyfriend Blaine was going to Tiffany's party, who was basically her rival in the school. Later both of them meets up and they have a huge argument about this topic. It was clear that both the girls hated each other. Next, we can see the cheerleading team about to show their talent. They begin their cheerleading very beautifully, making everyone ecstatic about the game beforehand. In the middle of a jump, a girl pushes everyone away hence making Stephanie fall on the ground. It had been a few years and we can see her wake up from a long state of coma. Stephanie did not realize about this until she sees herself in the mirror and freaks out about how old she was. She is being told that it had been 20 years since she was in coma. Her father was more excited than ever to see her moving and Steph also meets with her best friend Martha. While they were driving home, she gets to know Martha was a school principal, but she laugh it off until everyone goes silent. There were lots of things Steph to learn, like prohibited words she cannot use anymore or the new technology. Steph sees Blaine and goes totally crazy for him and jumps out of the car, since her father won't stop the car. Inside her dream house, she meets Tiffany at the house and gets to know that Blaine and Tiffany got married. On the other hand, Blaine was looking forward to see Stephanie, it seems like. Back in her house, she was amazed to see her room and later complained to her father about being grown up and her dream life being taken away from her. She walks to a room and start to imagine her past life, where her mother was complimenting her looks and attitude to cheer her up. This was an emotional moment for her, it was clear she was missing her mother. While looking at her old posters she once again gets the motivation to do something even more brave than she did in the past. She walks up to her friend Martha, who she reveals her intentions to get back into the Hardin High School, but Martha was not ready for it. Steph was very excited to continue her studies again, after some convincing her best friend agrees to let her in the Harding High School. She gets ready, just like she used to in the past. As she enters in the school, she dances around, while everyone seemed to laugh at her. She walks inside with her charisma where she meets Mr. Tapper, the guidance counselor. Steph was weirded out by the change made to the school in recent years. While walking around, she ends up meeting Seth, her old school best friend. Step was now a librarian and they both go their way after a little chit-chat. She comes back to her best friend Martha, where she tells her that she is willing to join the cheerleaders team. But Martha reveals that she was the coach and they do not have prom queens at the school anymore. Students can do a petition to be able to get a prom queen back, says the principal. Stephanie walks up and talks to two students, who seemed friendly. They end up signing the petition, but they tell her that if she really wanted prom queen to come back then she would have to get the sign of this popular girl called Brie Voles with a huge Instagram following of 3 million. She meets Stephanie and acts as if she was some kind of VIP figure. She reveals that she was Tiffany's daughter and knows all about their past story. She posts her picture along with her on Instagram to insult her indirectly for her old age. Little did Stephanie know that these two students were part of cheerleading team. She sees them practicing, but she could not believe what they were doing. She understood that this was all really messed up and she start to panic. Later on, Steph walks in the library and talks to Seth and gets to know how people nowadays were competing online instead of the high school. She really likes the idea, since it was easier with a lot more exposure. Back in her house, she asks her father for a new phone, to which her father gifts her an iPhone. Not too long after, she was making videos on her brand new phone. 
she walks up to Tiffany's daughter and asks her if she could follow her on Instagram, but she denies her request along with her boyfriend, who asked for her permission for everything. Now, Stephanie's new priority was to get more followers instead of new friends. She sees that, today's generation was all about the game of numbers nowadays. She was trying makeup tutorial in order to increase her followers and whatnot. Back in her house, her father and friend Martha was concerned about her studies, since she was falling behind. He ends up taking away her phone as a punishment. Later Steph was complaining on how cheerleaders should be the one to be invited into the party, but her friends reveals that only the VIP people can go inside the party. Stephanie tells them her story in order to motivate them and decide to show everyone how to be popular. She start to teach her friends the crazy dance and not long after we can see them dancing with a ton of passion. They were ready for the show. In a big school gathering, Tiffany ends up doing a small speech, but when the principal invited the cheerleaders, they start to do the acting and the dance, which was not really interesting, until they take off their real form and catches everyone's eyes. This was enough for Blaine to shout for the cheerleading team. Later, Blaine meets Steph outside, where he reveals that he thought of her many times throughout the years. Seemed like he was interested in her, but she pushed him away since he was a father and a married man. Next morning she wakes up and checks her phone and finds out that her following was increasing rapidly, because their cheerleading dance went viral. Everyone in the school started to know her and she was slowly winning everyone's hearts. Steph later meets Martha, who was complaining about her act in front of the big audience. She revealed to Steph that she was into women instead of men, which was a problem for her in her school days. While sitting in the class, she sees Brie Mother doing a live stream, where she was doing a collab with History Museum and selling tickets for it, in which Blaine was also a part of. Steph walks up to Stet and asks him to go out with her to see the movie. She was doing all this to make her ex-boyfriend Blaine jealous, which was actually working out. Tiffany sees this and tell him to stop looking at Steph. This leads her to shout at him, hence the guard takes her out of there, followed by her husband Blaine. After the movie, Seth reveals how he loved her back in their high school days. He also knew she used him to make Blaine jealous, but he was fine with that. Hearing this, she decides to hang out a bit more with Seth and goes to the same bawling place they used to go. Meanwhile, Tiffany was forcing her daughter to be a prom queen, which made her daughter upset. In the bawling room, Seth and Steph were talking about the past memories. He revealed how prom queen did not matter that much, but she tells him a small story behind her wish to be the prom queen. Before her mother died, she once said that if she can dream anything, she can achieve it and later her mother passed away. She later saw Deanna Russo with her husband, she was happy and she was a prom queen, this was why she was always crazy about being a prom queen like herself, hoping to be life her one day. She just wanted to prove her mother right and get that perfect life. Along with Seth, she spent some lovely time, where she asked if he wants to go on prom with her. He was more than willing to go. Later Martha announces that Brie was doing a petition for the prom king and queen. Which made Steph really happy along with her friends, but she was definitely going to face some hardships in presence of Tiffany. Later on, everyone was invited into a prom party hosted at Brie's house. But, even Brie was shocked to see this invite, which suggests her mother might have invited everyone. Steph goes into her wardrobe and finds a key and later invited, and announced to everyone on Instagram about hosting the best after party ever in a secret location, which was also free, unlike Brie's paid after prom party. We can see Seth waiting for Steph to take on a date, while her father was pissed off at him, just like back in the school days. In a moment, Steph arrives while wearing her mother's dress and seeing this her father and Seth had a warm moment. Her father takes her and Seth's pictures before they go to the prom party. They go into the party where Stephanie tells her team to spread the awareness and vote for her for the prom queen. Steph was met by Blaine while she was about to record herself on Insta. There Blaine reveals his love for Steph, but she thought it was not fine, which was also seen by Seth and it broke his heart. He leaves after telling her that he thought she had changed. It was the time to the voting results of the prom king, where the winner was Brie's boyfriend. When it was the time to reveal about the prom queen, the host reveals that Brie had withdrawn from the competition, even though she was about to win with over 1,000 votes as compared to 389 votes, hence making Stephanie the prom queen. There they proceed to dance and have lovely moments and making everyone happy. Tiffany was inviting everyone to the party, but no one was interested. All the students went to Stephanie's party along with Tiffany's daughter Brie. At the party, jealous Tiffany decided to report it to the cops, meanwhile everyone was enjoying. Cops come along with Martha and Seth, where she shouted her for using her lake house for the party, which she agreed to 20 years ago. She want her to grow up, but she did not have to grow up and make mistakes, so maybe she wasn't to blame here, says Stephanie. Back in Tiffany's house, her daughter storms on her and unfollow her from the Instagram because of her calling the cops on Steph. While, Steph meets her idol, Deanna Russo, who was driving the car as a cab driver. 
Steph always thought her to be living the best life ever, but she reveals how her husband left her when she was 30-year-old for a 21-year-old girl. She suggests her to take away that crown and focus on college and focus on her skills. Steph goes back home and destroy her board, she sits in her school and thinks of her past life. Looks at all the memories she spent with her real friends Seth and Martha. She sits with her father, where he explains how her mother always thought how wonderful she was. He suggests her to go to school for the graduation day. She begins to make an apology stream on Instagram, where she tells everyone that followers aren't more important than your real-life friends. She recalled all those moments she spent in the classroom. Finally she wanted to be her real self, even thought people would make fun of her. Tiffany also comes back to her house and apologized to her for treating her like garbage. She goes to the graduation day inside the school, where everyone was celebrating the day with pure passion. Steph pays Martha for the damage at the lake house and hugs her. At the end they all start to celebrate the day by dancing, where Martha was also a part of it. Even Tiffany joins the dance and enjoys every bit of it. Stephanie once again does the jump, but this time she was held by her teammates. It was overall a fun experience for everyone. Right after, Seth ends up asking Stephanie out for a date and kisses her and the movie ends here.